The Herb family in Royal Oak and really in Michigan has really had a long, deep, rich history in being merchants and retailers. They've had a long history in the banking business. Both my great-great-great-grandfather and great-great-grandfather were cobblers. The Herb family is one of the founding families of the city of Royal Oak. George Herb arrived in 1856. His son, Jacob, was postmaster several times. They also were very influential in helping to build other businesses because they were the lumber yard. The Herb Kidder lumber yard came into being about the early 1900s on the corner of Main Street and Lincoln. The lumber company was started by A.D. Kidder and Lewis Herb, my dad's uncle, and this is a picture of my dad's uncle, Lewis. And this is what the buildings looked like when my father took over in 1947. My great great grandfather Jacob had the general store at 2nd and Main Street. In the late 1800s, they had the regular barrels filled with fruit, apples and onions and cucumbers. They also sold parts for horses, carriages, you name it. We have this receipt from Jacob Herb in his general store in 1891 that says what he sold was dry goods, grocery, provisions, Yankee notions, crockery, boots, shoes, flour, and feed. Being the postmaster, you were very busy. And being owner of a general store, you were very busy. But he was totally involved in the community. Everybody knew him. Everybody went to him for something. Everybody needed whatever he had. My mom in the 70s started having a deep interest in genealogy, so I have a treasure trove of all sorts of information. Family trees and charts, Herb family group records, Lawson family, Morley family, Herb family, Royal Oak history, and Herb Lumber Company. My mother was very passionate about health and diet. Both of my parents, they also love the environment. The walls of our office are filled with history that tell a story about my parents in many different ways. It's an honor to carry on the legacy. It's a huge responsibility, but it's really an honor.